not just your tax returns you should be worried about. There's also a new scam going around targeting English second language learners and immigrants. Our Griffin Wright joins us in studio this morning with how it works and how you can protect yourself. Good morning, Griffin. Good morning, Caitlin. So here's how it works. A malicious tax preparer will lie on your tax return to get a bigger return, keep some of that money, if not all of it, and then you're left on the hook when the IRS comes calling. I ran across multiple tax uh, prep, you know, how they bring the last year copy, and I look at it like, wow, that is a lot, you know. And sometimes people come to me like, oh, I don't know where my money is, right? Or sometimes they bring their money so a lot, but I like, hey, you you getting like six thousand last year, and they say, no, I only get three thousand or whatever it is. Here's what you can do to protect yourself. If it's too good to be true, it is. Someone promising big returns is probably not using the right ways to get those returns. This one is more for Hispanic immigrants, and that's notarios are different from uh, notaries. They are not lawyers in their home country. A notario is essentially a lawyer. Scammers will use that title to get more on their return. Never sign a blank form. That lets uh, those malicious preparers put whatever they want in and make sure that your preparer has a PTIN number uh, to make sure that they're registered with the IRS. So if any of these red flags apply to you and your returns, uh, it's a good idea to double check them. And if you're a victim, here's what you can do. There are lots of ways of dealing with that so that it is not as onerous as it could be uh, if you simply ignore the problem and let it continue. So the first thing whether or not you didn't get a refund you were entitled to or did get something you weren't entitled to um, unknowingly because you were taking some bad advice is to reach out to someone trustworthy who can help you figure out a plan. Uh, and there almost always is a plan that will take you to a better place. So while taxes are due today, extensions to taxes are also due today. So if you need more time to double check and make sure everything is correct, uh, you still have till the end of the day to get that stuff in. Okay, all good things to keep in mind on this tax day. Griffin Wright, thank you for that report this morning.